What's going on YouTube? Jay Clark the Jumper here coming at you with another video that I often get asked about, which is how do I improve my vertical leap without the weight room? And I'm here in my car getting ready to work out at the park because I'm gonna do a complete workout without any weights. Now, the interesting thing is my favorite exercises to use don't require weights. This is something I've been doing since I was 14 years old. Um, many do it. it. It's not a real secret, but if I had to give it a title, I truly believe this is the secret to vertical leap training, which is plyometrics. Now, plyometrics are a series of bounding, leaping, jumping exercises to help strengthen the stretch shortening cycle. Now, I'm not gonna get into the science behind plyometrics and the history of plyometrics, but it is adopted from Eastern European training. They've been doing it for a while, back, back, back in the day, and they were killing the Olympics. They were doing amazing things, and the Western trainers got a hold of it started using it and, and had some success and it's and it's been around for forever i found it when i was 14 um and how i found it was you know it was always marketed as the secret to jump training and i kept finding it in vert programs so rather than buying more vert programs i went and learned about plyometrics i bought a book and just read as much as i could about plyometric training in high school, when I was a triple jumper, the main focus of my training was plyometrics. And it's interesting to say that plyometrics has had success, not only in my sport as a pro dunker, obviously with professional track and field athletes, but I was the 2007 California State triple jump champion and Richard Sherman, future Hall of Fame NFL football player cornerback was the 2006 uh, California State Triple Jump Champion. So there's some correlation with, you know, training this way and having success in your sport. Now, when we think of training, I just want to give you guys a, a, a quick example. Um, and when we think of training, a lot of times we think of the tangibles, the things that we can see. So think of your muscles as a light bulb. If your muscles are the light bulb, you get bigger muscles, you get that bigger light bulb, obviously there's gonna be more light. But what's another way to kind of get more light? The circuit, you know, the, the flow of electricity through that light bulb. So plyometrics are gonna be, you know, that circuit, uh, I don't wanna say circuit to kind of confuse you with circuit training, but it's gonna be that um, flow of energy type of training what you're actually training is your central nervous system yes you're gonna have some you know muscularity changes but more than anything you're gonna be able to fire faster off of the ground you're gonna be able to you know jump higher um, cover more ground you know make quicker faster movements you know wider lateral movements just Whatever you're trying to work on, you're gonna get more efficient with it. One, because you're working on actual jumping technique, and two, because you're training the stretch shortening cycle, you're, you're mostly training the central nervous system, which is so crucial in jumping. And a lot of times we think of just training the muscles to jump higher, and if that were the case, everybody with a, you know, 400 plus squat would be able to jump high. And we, we all obviously know that that's not always the truth so plyometrics i recommend you know looking into it and doing your own research with this video i'm going to provide you some exercises that i like to do these are all going to be exercises in my 10 week vertical leap program i'm gonna drop the link below make sure you guys check out my website www.jclarkthejumper.com i'm going to be getting more articles about plyometric training up on the website so you guys have some more resources to kind of you know learn more about plyometrics check out my merch i'm gonna drop you know some of the the shirts below some of the hoodies check it out support the do the impossible movement thank you guys if this was helpful please click like share it with your friends check out the vert program and you know let's get into let's get into these exercises all right so we're here out at the park 
Uh, I forgot to let you guys know. Make sure you guys are properly warming up. Um, that goes without saying. And also, plyometrics aren't something you can do every single day because it is a central nervous system training. And unlike your musculature, which needs, you know, let's say 24 to 48 hours to fully recover, your central nervous system is going to need a little bit more time. So I recommend doing plyometrics if you are new to plyometrics, only twice a week. And if you're more seasoned three times, but that's, you know, pushing it and make sure you guys are getting as much recovery as possible because that's where the growth happens, not in the training. So um, let's get into it. All right, there's a sample of just an abundance of exercises you can do, plyometric exercises you can do without uh, the use of a weight room. All I did was the park, um, the bench, and you can get creative with it, find movements within your sport, and really focus on being explosive. It's not about the quantity of reps that you're doing, it's how you're doing the reps. So don't count the reps, make the reps count, give yourself some time to recover, and I hope this video helps. If you like it, hit the like button, share it with your friends, check out my website, 
www.jclarkthedrummer.com. Check out my merch, and that's it for today.